Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I think this is the last one for today. I was trying to finish up, but it says full storage. So I had to stop a little, have my son delete some of the stuff. Um, my next story, I'll try not to, not to um, keep it long here. The next one will be for Peter Schiff. He agrees to liquidate his bank. And he sees why so many people are invested in crypto because the government forces him to liquidate his bank. Again, I'm not sure who Peter Schiff is, but if I'm not mistaken, I think he's the guy that had this, um, they had this documentary where they interview Raul from England, the crypto guy. And him, and uh, Peter Schiff, or Michael Saylor with Peter Schiff, where they were arguing which investment was the best one or which one going to survive. Could it be Bitcoin or the gold bar? And, uh, and I was trying to explain to you guys, I've never been a big fan to invest in gold because one time I remember one YouTuber was talking there, were explaining it. How would you spend your gold bar? I know it's not funny, but when they explain it, it was a little funny how they said it because they said, um, with the Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency, if they accept it in any place you go, you could go with your phone or, or your PC laptop and then you scan it. It would allow you to spend your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your Shiba, you know, whichever one they allowed, right? But when it comes to a gold bar, you can't take a gold bar and take it to the store and say, well, I would like to buy this dress or this pair of shoes with the gold bar. How would they return change? Or uh, It was kind of funny. I know it's, it's not fun <laughs> the way I explain it, but... It was like, oh, okay. I was already not into investing in gold bar and gold. Maybe in the 20s, in the 30s, 50s, 60s, gold was it. But right now with technology and the stuff going on, I don't know. I think people will have to do a little bit more research how. Maybe I'm ignorant on that part. I don't know everything. I don't know why people invest in gold. I can understand oil and um and all the, I don't know, I don't want to take it to the next level. I can understand oil and um, electricity, the next thing that's coming, crypto, yeah, but in gold bar, please educate me. I don't know. I'm going to leave that one alone. So while I was doing my research, I also come to how long someone with COVID-19 be contagious let me read it correctly how long is someone with covid contagious they were doing a research in in boston uh and then it says how long is someone with covid19 uh contagious and when can they safely come out of isolation and um research res researchers in boston doing some study that would shed some light on it. And it says, uh, experts believe you are most contagious two days before your symptoms began and during the first three days of illness. But researchers at Bergen and Women's Hospital wanted to see if rapid antigen testing can help determine when it's safe to return to public life. Okay, so as I thought it was important because some of us, when we test positive for the Rona, we're thinking, not only we're thinking, our body actually takes some time before it recovers. And I thought it was a good thing that researchers are working on it to see when you are most contagious, when can you safely go outside in the public and let people, I mean, not to spread it around, giving it to people. So they say uh, it's an unknown billionaire that spent $3 billion to buy Bitcoin. And, and 
people were surprised because with all what's going on, how the bear market, things going down, Bitcoin is not high, you know, the high price, like the way it used to, and people still putting money on it, people still believe in it. And that gave me some hope because even though I cannot afford to afford one Bitcoin or any type of Bitcoin right now, but to see somebody put $3 billion in it give me hopes that, because you know when Bitcoin doing good, all the art coins, all the Mimi coins, they are doing fantastic. They are doing amazing. So this is a good news to report on that. With that $3 billion, they were able to purchase 133000 Bitcoin. And one thing I was saying, I don't know why we put last week that only 21 million Bitcoin was created overall. And we have 56.1 million uh, millionaires around the world, over the world. So if all these millionaires were to be interested, thank you, God, they're not. Because if they were to be interested in buying Bitcoin and between them, they would not have enough Bitcoin to go around. So when I see somebody able to purchase so many, knowing one day, not financial advice, yeah, always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin for that matter. But when I see somebody able to put three billion, one million, two million, a thousand, three thousand dollar in Bitcoin, it's a it's an, a great encouragement for me because I am investing in the you know lower cap coin and Mimi coin, and I know. Whenever we get out of the bear market, things get better. I know the Mimi coins, the art coins that we are investing in going to really put some cash in our pocket. So I was like, oh, this is amazing. Somebody able to put that kind of money in there. And, um, you know, like I said, it would not have, we would not have enough Bitcoin to go around all the millionaires if they all were to be interested in buying Bitcoin because only 21 million was created. Like I say, knowledge is power. I go around, I do my research, I report the latest, the best to you guys. That's why I know one day you guys are going to subscribe, 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 and make this channel, Crypto Marishi does it all, a little bit of everything, the best out of all. I mean, it's not a competition. I respect everybody's work. But before I bring something to you, I make sure I do my work. I make sure I bring the best of the best. Again, I'm going to leave that story alone and I'm going to bring you to a Coinbase shares drop on one billion dollar loss in one second in the second quarter and receive receive what okay I, I don't know if I'm I didn't finish the whole story, but it says they lost $1 billion in the second quarter. I know now because the Black Rock uh, partnering, she, part, partnership they have with Coinbase, the, 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 the share had went up $92, and everybody was going crazy on crypto because of that, because they saying because uh, Black Rock partnering with Coinbase, they're going to make it easier for international everywhere for people to purchase uh, bitcoin that's why the crypto market was going crazy green everywhere so i was like oh okay but overall they're not really doing well like that because they have a lot of suit a lot of people suing them and they lost one billion dollars so i thought it was important to let you guys know about what's going on with coinbase and uh, the Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, said the inflation has reached its peak, but will have a recession for over 18 months. I don't know. Some stuff Elon Musk is saying, I don't know where he gets his information from. He doesn't study economy. He doesn't know. I know he's a billionaire, soon will be a trillionaire. I know he's good in the business creation of course i give the man credit for that but for you to come out and say it's gonna last 18 months where do you get that information from you know like how do you bring that to us so i'm gonna leave that alone we'll leave the economy you know the people who went to school and do they think know about what they're talking about tell us how long it's gonna last and to tell you the truth even them don't know how long it's gonna last you know, it's it's the job market. It's it's um, recession. If it pick up, if it drop, I mean, now they even have a different definition for it. You know, so we're just gonna leave that alone. I report it because that's what it says. I cannot 
trust what Elon Musk is saying, okay? Now, they were saying the wells are buying a lot of uh, Cardano. I hope uh, Mark Cuban can see that. Because last week, in, in the last eight days, they spent $140 million buying uh, ADA. So when you say Dogecoin has a better potential application than ADA Cardano, it's a total disrespect because what proof do you have, what evidence you have to put Dogecoin with Cardano? It just doesn't make any sense. Of course, this is a free country, freedom of speech. You can express your opinion. It is just an opinion. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still under the weather. But I don't really, I strongly don't believe Dogecoin has a better or higher value than Cardano. That's a lie. We have those Cardano guys. I don't remember his name. He always come up the CEO, always come and speak up on behalf of Cardano. They are creating stuff behind the scene that we don't know. I know one thing had to be delayed. I Forgive me, I don't remember what it was that they were creating for God, for Cardano, they had to delay it like three to six months behind because they want to make it a better a better uh, system for the blockchain. And you're going to compare Dogecoin with that? Give me a break. So Polygon partnering with Coca-Cola. Yeah, Matic Polygon. Guys, not financial advice. There was a lot of coins that I have been saying over and over that has potential, that has future. You might not see it now because we are supposedly in a recession and we haven't, you know, we are in the bear market. You don't see what those coins can do. But the minute we get out of the bear market, the minute things spike up, you guys gonna see, oh my God, crypto Marie, she does it all. You were not giving advice. You asked us to do our research. We wish we did because now Polygon, uh, Matic Polygon or an ADA Cardano and VET, those, and AMP, AMP, Shiba Inu, and Mana, San, those are kind of cheap right now. They drop down in price. Do your research in them. Because now is the time, like the wrong guy said, to back up the truck and just pile it up, pile it up with stuff. If you can afford it, not financial advice. Because VET is partnering with Amazon Web Services. I tell you guys about it. Not that many people view it. I don't know if they don't care about it. But from two cents to one day, probably a dollar, that's a lot of profit. AMP right now is cheap, very cheap. Mana dropped down from a dollar. I think a dollar fifty had hit. Sand, those are the metaverse coin, yeah. And spell token, spell token, let me tell you something. I don't know much about it. I'm going to do a little research before I report further on it. But spell token has been in the top 10 gainers of crypto.com for a long time. It keep on popping up. And I have a lot of coins, sleepy, not so sleepy coin that I had a video on. And let me tell you something. There wasn't one day I checked. Top 10 gainers for crypto.com. I don't see two, three of my sleepy, not so sleepy coin in there. And I, I would hope people will take a minute and do a little research and try to invest in them because they have two, three zeros in front of them. They will hit one penny way faster than our favorite coins, than the coins that have trillions that have billions to lose. That's why I said I am not giving you financial advice, but... If you spend one thousand dollar in a coin that has two three zeros, now I'm sure I'm not good in math, but you give it three to six months when we get out of the bear market, for sure you get a good five to ten thousand dollar in return. And again, I'm not gonna make you do stuff you don't wanna do, but do your research. You're not gonna regret it, yeah. I think this is it for today, y'all. Uh, this is it. I'm just so thankful that I have um, so many people watching my videos, subscribing from my channel. And don't forget, today is the CPI report. And I forgot to tell you guys earlier that, yes, we woke up on a green day. Everything looking amazing. Everything looking fantastic. But after the CPI report, things might change a little. Don't get disappointed. Don't get surprised. Don't be surprised. Don't get frustrated. Things happen. That's how the crypto market goes. That's how the stock market goes. 
you know, goes. So CPI, Consumer Price Index, that's the meaning, the meaning of it. Today, um, I think Joe Powell, John Powell, or whoever in the financial sector going to come and say something. And then based on that, we'll see how the crypto market continue green or turn around to be red. Like I said, both ways, it works for me. Red, time to shop, time to balance, time to DCA, dollar cost average. And green, I'm sitting relaxed and say, okay, now I can see where my money is going. And I love it. Again, I think this is the last one for this um, for the day so far. And uh, later on, if things change, one of our favorite coins, something happen, I'll come back and let you know the latest on how the crypto market doing. Again, I am thankful. I am so appreciative of your, you know, precious time to come and view my videos. Subscribe, leave a comment if you can. If you can, it's okay. We're going to keep it moving. Thank you so much. I'm not going to always be able to respond to your comment, but I am still thankful for your time. May God bless you and have a wonderful one. And let's hope that the crypto market has reached its bear season. And then we'll move on to the next level and we'll make some money from all the coins that we love and cherish. Have a wonderful one. Thank you guys. Bye.